Well, hi everybody. She's back. So, <laughs> I didn't want to stay down that long, but it was just a, I just went into such a relaxation after that, that election. I didn't even really even get the least bit irate till Thursday, Thursday night late, because I knew Oh, Friday, well, Thursday night, Friday, Friday morning, before they called it, I don't remember if they called it Friday or Saturday, but the night before they called it, I told my daughter that if it had been any other election in the world, they would have already called it, and I was a little upset about that, but I was never worried about Trump winning this election through this whole thing. I was really worried and felt really stupid about how many Republican votes they got because I would have never, never maybe that's why I didn't see it in the cards because in my head I couldn't see it. Maybe on some level no matter how much you try not to get involved in the cards our opinions come through. And then when uh, when Lindsey Graham and uh, McConnell won, and won by so much, uh, I don't know if there's any votes that need to be looked over. Maybe it's them. I, I don't know how they could have cheated to make them win. And Anyway, there's no way they would have made all the, the, the Senate that ended up winning win and have Trump not win. So we know the election that the votes, or at least 99.9 tenths percent of them were were counted right and not messed with. But maybe someday they'll find out how you can have a 13 a point approval rating in Kentucky and then get like 80, 78 percent of the votes or something, like what McConnell did. I don't really think that that's possible. Of course, I guess some of the polls are off, but and as far as a tsunami. I feel like in a way it was for the blue. It was all these new voters that people like Tracy Abrams had signed up and and all these justice Democrats that carried their states. You notice John Casey's already blowing his tweet out his ash. You know, he's looking for a poisonous administration and they'll probably give him one. But he's already blaming uh, some of the votes on these Justice Democrats. And you notice he didn't carry his state. They lost to Trump. But you know those, the squad did. They brought all their states won. And especially there in uh, Michigan and I think it's Wisconsin where there's one. Anyway, they they carried those states and they carried them for, for Biden. And uh, they all overwhelmingly won their seats back again, and plus they brought in uh, four or five more uh, Justice Democrats. Let me look here. Well, Katie Porter kept her seat. She's a Justice Democrat. And of course, Ro Khanna. Uh, hmm. But there was... Uh, Cory Bush won. Jamie Bowman or Jemiah Bowman. Maria Newman. Monder Jones or something. I didn't write that down right. But they all won their seats. And there were new ones that got in there. So that makes some more Justice Democrats in the, at least in the House. I wish they could get enough in there to throw Nancy Pelosi out. You know, she's lost almost 2,000 seats, I guess it was, during Obama's deal, and that's judges and governors and everything else since she was head of the Democratic Party. That's back when she was before. And then now she lost these Senate seats 
and the first thing they're going to do is start blaming it on the Justice Democrats, saying everybody was afraid. But if you look back, <clears throat> even the Republicans that won their seats were saying Medicare, they were for Medicare for all. Because they knew 70 plus percent of the people are for that. So, uh, God, I wish they'd get rid of uh, that Tom. I just had his name on the end of my tongue, but the, the head of the Democratic Party, he's, he's about a wasted piece of crap. And so is, is uh, I think Nancy Pelosi is one of the worst things in the world to be in there running the Democratic Party. I think we would have had an overwhelming win if we'd have had a different, somebody different than her in there. But that's opinions, and like I say, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And I don't expect you to agree with me. I'm just going to say what I feel, especially since this election's over. Uh, I also, from just watching bits of news and on the internet today while I was running around here cleaning house and getting ready for a reading tonight, I uh, was listening to the Republicans. They're not coming out against Trump and they're not coming out for Biden except some very upstanding ones and I'm sure they are people that don't owe their heart and soul to Trump. It's kind of scary to me that more of them haven't spoken out because excuse me I got the hiccups <laughs> there's something uh, something really interesting going on here because these guys didn't jump ship before the election when they were pretty sure he was going to lose it Maybe they knew something from the inside we didn't we didn't know. Maybe a lot of those Trump Trump votes weren't legal for some reason. I don't know how they could have pulled it off, but anyway, that's just a just a feeling there or maybe wishful thinking. I'm not saying that they cheated in any way. But they did all know that Trump's got something on him. I've been saying Trump had something on him this whole time. And uh I figured whatever it was, it would just fade as soon as he lost the election, but it hasn't. He's still got Lindsey Lindsey Graham out there polishing his nuts. He's got a, a McConnell about three quarters backing him. He's not not on a pedestal screaming it yet, but he's there. And so I think we all should look around and see the ones that's doing the most yelling that there's fraud. And I'd be willing to bet you after Biden gets in there that they end up not even being able to, to quit to finish their terms. I'm going to start making a list of them when I, you know, when I watch this for the next week or so, so I've got their names. But the ones that are coming out and saying that this election was illegitimate, I don't know if they think they're, they haven't got their ass covered enough where they could get caught if Biden comes in there and they really do some investigations, which I'll doubt. I'll believe it when I see that, too. I hope the hell they do. I, I love Glenn Kushner. He's right. Uh, but uh, they were also uh, lost my train of thought there. If not, then Trump's got something on him that he could pull in a heartbeat that wouldn't include him. I don't know if it's videos. I don't know if it's dirt from David Pecker, you know, his friend that used to run the the National Enquirer, or maybe he still does, or what, but Trump's got something on these guys. Because there would be no reason for them to hang on to a lost cause like they are. Unless they could be exposed just like that. If Trump uh, decided to, I bet he could expose them just like that. I bet he's got the garbage on him, he's got the goods, he's probably already shown it to him. Because there's more to this than meets the eye. They've lost this. There's no way they're going to get around it. But they're still tearing up our, ma our democracy back in Trump. And so what are they afraid of? I thought they'd be through with this as soon as they were afraid that he couldn't, you know, do some Twitters and, you know, get him not elected maybe because he had such a following. But I don't think he's going to be able to Twitter anything to get him anybody elected or re-elected as soon as this is over. I, I don't even think he'll stay in this country. I think I agree with the rest of the 
girls reading cards, he'll probably end up in Saudi Arabia or somewhere. But, uh, and that's the reason they won't let him into the White House to start go or into the, the records to start going through stuff because they don't want him to know how broke we are. They don't want him to know. That's what they're fighting right now. They're still fighting. They don't want him in there because they don't want him to start seeing what's really been done and how they've gutted our government. But anyway, that's my uh, my story, and I'm going to stick to it. And what else have I got on here? I think the Heritage Foundation's in this up to their freaking teeth. They need to be investigated. I figured they'd all be jumping ship already since this was this election as well as certified. There's no way they can change it, and they're still not. So there must be tapes, videos, something he's got on him. Like I said, from, probably from Do from Doc Dr. Pepper. Yeah, David Pecker. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a hard enough name to say anyway. Um, so, one thing I've never read on, and everybody and everybody else has read on it hundreds of times, and I'm going to see if maybe. I want to take a look at Kavanaugh, and I don't know how to ask this question, because Linda's positive that he's going to get knocked off the court as soon as they find out the corrupt money behind getting put on the court. I'm sure he would, and I'm sure the corruption's there, but at the same time, is the Democrats got the balls to investigate it? Like I said, I, I, I wish they'd make a Glenn Kushner, AG. I don't know what kind of qualifications he's got, but I'm sure they're better than anybody that Trump ever tried to put in there. And I'm, from what it sounds like, he's worked in the Justice Department all his life, so I think it would probably go right through, except for the Republicans. But we got to win these races first in Georgia. So, uh, yeah, I've never read on Kavanaugh since he was running running for that uh, deal and then I couldn't get a yes or a no. It usually looked like he'd get in but then he wasn't going to stay. I don't remember exactly what it was. God, it's been so long ago. But, uh, but I've never, I've never read cards on him. So the way I'm going to ask this is I'm going to ask it for this next year. What's this year coming up look at, looking like for Kavanaugh? Where is he going to going to happen to him through this year and next year. I mean, not next year, but just through the next 12 months. What's going to happen to him? Is there going to be disruptions in their, his life? What's coming up in his life? Maybe if I ask it that way, I could get more of an answer than trying to get a yes or a no for something that could have a thousand different roadways going with it. But just what's he looking at? for this next year. What's his life? What's going to happen? And it's really funny because in my opinion, I never thought there would ever be any way to ever get him out of there. But there's just been so many other readers that said, yes, he's not going to be in there. I'm just really curious, so I wanted to read on it. So this is on Kavanaugh. And I hope you can see this a little bit. <laughs> and I hope it's not too bright. I don't know. I never know how whether it's too bright, too light, or what. Or if the camera's low enough or what's going on here. But we'll try it this way. So now we got him here on his throne. Taking care of things. Uh, doesn't look like he's worried about too much. Always wanted a place of authority. Glad he's got a place of authority. Sitting up there with this staff, but you know what? It looks very much like he could get cut off from that authority. Looky here. Look at the obstacle there. Even though he's sitting on this place of authority, 
it's not really a totally done deal. I don't know why, but it's not. Because there might be some information coming out that just cuts him right out of that authority. Especially when the King of Pentacles leaves office. Might have even more to do with it, although I didn't feel like Trump still had power over him. I felt more like it was the Heritage Foundation that bought his debt up. But anyway, uh, something's going on here, movement. Looks like he's moving on or moving off. Let's see what comes up for the other ones. They're going to show that there was payments. He was paid off in the past. Wow. It may not work to get rid of him. It shows him here coming ahead as the victor, at least for a while. That's the immediate future, though. He's really worried inside himself. We got the town crier here. We got the page of wands because he's really afraid this, this information might come out and knock him off his, his horse here. Knock him out of here. He knows there's stuff out there that could take him down. But the environment around him is sunshine. Sunshine, which could be showing what's really going on and how he got put in there. Or it could be showing that he doesn't have a thing in the world to worry about, at least at the present time. He's got good people around him. This is the people around you. He's got enough power around him where he doesn't have to worry about it, even if we do end up finding out what how he got in there. Um... Okay, this is his fears, though. He's afraid of more than one thing. They've got more than one bit of information on him. Somebody's got a lot of records on him that never really got brought up or voted on or discussed or something when he was voted on. But that usually doesn't matter once you're in the Supreme Court. You're in the Supreme Court for till you die. So he is worried about these other Dill's coming out. And they definitely got a bunch of stuff on him. So he would be a scary one to have to decide anything to do with the election. Of course, we knew that anyway. But you know what? We got the walk and away card. And I need to trust my cards because I didn't trust them a lot before this. I didn't even... Uh, you know, when I was saying a lot of people were going to win, then they didn't win. I didn't. I felt like it was too good to be true. But I'm going to trust these cards and say, yeah, he walks away. He moves out of that position within the next 12 months for some reason. I don't know if it's uh, new information coming in that gets exposed. Since I've seen the last two cards, I would be more likely to think that this is infer this is light shining on what he done instead of uh, good energy around him. Besides that, how can somebody like him get good energy around him? It just, it doesn't go. Uh, and it shows him something changing quick here. The foundation in the fourth house and, uh, I mean, excuse me, in the third house. And uh, in the tenth house, we've got him going away. And I said for the next 12 months, so... Uh, that's what the cards are saying. That's the very first time I've ever read on Kavanaugh since two months before he ever even got into the Supreme Court because my stomach was so tore up I don't think I could read on it when he was being voted on and stuff. Or if I did, I just really seen him getting in there. I don't remember ever thinking he wasn't going to get in there. Praying he wasn't, but on some level knowing that there's no way. So, uh... Anyway, I've never, 
read on him hardly ever at all. I, I think I did read on him maybe once, you know, a couple of years ago or whatever when this all this stuff first came up. And the other ones I'm going to read on, we got to read on the kids. We got I'm going to read on the Trump family here. And I know that's the last thing we still want to hear about, but since they're trying to be such dirt bags about this whole thing, let's let's see what's going on. And what we're going to do, we're going to do four lines across, and then I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm going to go four across for the three kids. No sense in reading on Melania. She's uh, she's leaving soon as soon as the minute they get out of the White House. I'd be, whatever, she's not going to stay in that situation. But uh, I'm going to read on the three kids. I'm, I'm going to start with a, oh, the slimy son-in-law, the snake, uh, Kushner. So we're going to start and we're going to do a line on Kushner. And then I'm going to do a line on Don Jr., and then I'm going to, you know, we're going to do fr Frick and Frack here. Frick is Don Jr., and Frack is uh, his brother, Eric. And then I'm going to do a line on Ivanka. And then I'm going to go down him. And this is really kind of scary for me because I've done that a lot, but I'm going to try going across from corner to corner on Trump and see just just to see what might come up. And I want to put out that out there ahead of time. I don't know if my, I've kind of been throwing this around in my head for a couple of days, so hopefully my guides will help me with this. But I want to see, uh, I was just told two or three different times when I was trying to think of what to read on and how to read on it, I was told to do this spread. And I've never tried one like this before, but, but I'm going to try it. So, uh, so we start with, uh, Kushner. A lot of money in the past. Might as well pull this down here so you can see it if, it, if you possibly can in that camera. A lot of money in the past. Wow, he's worried about truth coming out. In the, he's worried if, any, if all these secrets are going to come out right now. That's the main thing on his mind right now. That's all he's thinking about. He's um, worried about the light be sh being shined on all the darkness. That's the challenge. Can he keep it hidden or is the light going to get shined on this during the transition? Maybe that's where they're fighting to have those guys come in there already for that transition. And his future is he knows he's going to have to I'm going to try to clean up my mouth. Crap or get off the pot. That almost sounds worse than the than the other. But anyway, yeah, he knows that there's there's a decision that's got to be made and he might as well really start thinking about it. Because no matter how much money changed hands, how many dirty secrets get exposed, or he thinks he wants to hide, or is worried about, they're coming out. So he's got to make a decision. Where to go next? Whether to be the first to jump in to this mess and start telling what's been going on or the, maybe the last. He might be the last because I think he might be in more trouble than the rest of them. I feel like he's had some really deep dark things going on. So the next one is Frick which is uh, Trump Jr. Well they really weren't too worried about Biden, or at least he was thinking about it a little bit, but he didn't really think it would happen. This has been a big shock to him. Same same as uh, his brother-in-law. We got the Three of Pentacles here. He's trying to, we got Biden to start with. We got the Three of Pentacles here. Trying to figure out where to, how much of this money that's been stuck back, or this dark money that's been spent, or transferred, or whatever, how much of that's going to, how much of that they can hide or do something with real quick before they get in there because they weren't expecting this so they weren't really set up for them to be coming in there right away that's why they're still fighting it so much the challenge is his dad if he had his way he'd just up and leave the country I think but he can he's got to still trying to 
trying to please his father, who he's never pleased. So I'm going to move these up just a little bit here so I can pull these down. Still trying to please his father, whom he's never pleased. And he's just not thinking straight at all. And he's not going to be thinking straight for a long time. I don't think he's going to think straight till he goes to rehab between you and I. I think, think he needs to go to rehab is what's going on with this. So that's what's going on there. So now we've done Kushner and Frick. Let's do Frack. I'm going to pull these out of here real quick. This is Eric Trump. Every time I do that, and then I'm looking on the video, it always makes it worse when I turn the light up. So let's just see if I can get it on there without too much glaring. Well, he's thinking back over and over and over the testimonies he just gave recently. He don't know what to do either. He's trying to weigh his options, but he's really not even thinking of options. He's so sure that his dad's still going to pull this election off some way. He's really not plugged in. I don't think he's into the drugs like his brother. I'm sure he's into a few, but he's not gone with them. But he's just not plugged in. Because for the present, his heart is just broken. It's just really hitting him like, what are we going to do? The challenge is he knows he has to leave. In the future is the Eight of Wands. Because he knows that all these indictments, all this stuff, even if his dad got a federal pardon, the ones from the states, he knows that they're going to be coming at him and his family. Everybody calls him dumb, but he's dealing more with reality than his brother is from these cards. And two, you can't think somebody's dumb just because they look dumb. And I don't, that's not all I said. God doesn't make junk. So I don't, I'm not saying he looks dumb. Well, I said it. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. But uh, maybe because he acts like it sometimes. Let's put it that way. So, um, of course, the last one is a sweet Ivanka. I like the way that... Uh, Johnny from from uh, Terrence Apprentices that he calls her Ivanka. <laughs> it takes that beautiful name of Ivanka and makes it sound very ugly. But anyway, let's see what she's up to. Let's see what the the runaway daughter's up to. She will be a runaway daughter before this is over. Well, she's coming through with she's using her brains. Probably the smartest one in the family. We got the Queen of Swords here. She's trying to figure out what she can get rid of, what she can hide. <coughs> Excuse me, what she can put back. She's got a lot of stuff going on in her head there. Things that she wants to do. She's got a... Ooh. I think she's already been questioned we got the hero found here. I think she's already been questioned about this. About some of these things going on. You know, they, they carried her in for... Or didn't carry her in, but they invited her in for questioning during the Mueller report. I think she's thinking back over that and trying to really remember what exactly what she said. Uh, and if she can clean some of it up, if, it, if it's going to end up catching her in trouble... But definitely got the law coming in here. The challenge is about some things that went overseas. I don't know if it's the deal she got from China or when she went over there to work with that Trump tire Tower or supposedly that was going to be built in Moscow at some time or what's going on. But it's something to do with overseas that she's the most worried about. And her stuff, maybe papers she signed or something. 
but she's going to come out of this just perfect. So I've always said she'd be the first one to squill and she'd be there the first and, and give the smartest answers so they didn't need any of the rest of them. So it's really strange that she's going to, she's just going to show up like a little empress. So now we're going to go down. So going down with Jared Kushner, we've got the family money in the background. Joe Biden get, getting put in is going to take a lot of that family money. Not maybe literally reach out and grab it, but maybe for uh, lawyers. It's changing, changing that money. Um, going to try to see how much of it he can still keep hidden about what's going on, what he has to bring up. And he's been talking to Ivanka about it. Then Frick here, Trump Jr., he knows, on some level, he knows all this stuff's coming out, even though he is in his own little kind of drug haze at this time. But he's really worried about the truth coming out. About all the buried and stolen money and all the pilfering they've been doing. They're just going to be shocked when they let them in there. That's why they don't want to let them in there. It's because of the money that's missing. And also how they've tore all of our government up. But anyway. And uh, it's not going to work out good for him. We got the broken heart or the heart attacked or at least it's not a death card. I was worried about him overdosing but it's not going to turn out good for him at all because he's going to be in big trouble with the law. Which from these cards looks like more than Jared right away but he may he may get accused or brought in first. And then <laughs> we got Frack here. We got Eric from Frick and Frack and uh, he still thinks everything's going to probably be alright. Because he thinks daddy's going to take care of it no matter what. It's just not on him that Dan daddy may have to leave and all of them go to another country. And then we go to Ivanka, or Ivanka, <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, she's laying awake nights trying to figure out what information she's going to give over and which information she's not, what she can get away with and what she thinks they won't know about. She's dotting crossing her T's, dotting her I's, trying to figure out what am I going to do and how am I going to do this. She knows it's going to be really hard getting through all this books because there's so much of it. There are so many different directions that this could go. So she's trying to wonder, well, if I give them something really big, can I get out of this? And this is all the things... This is the challenge. There's so many things. You can't figure out which one to give up and which one not to give up. You got the Eight of Wands here. I don't know if you can see these cards or not. I keep pulling them down so you can see them all. And then we had her here coming out. So no matter what happens, either way you read these, she comes out. She comes out on top. She's going to be the one coming out on top. Oh, I'm going to go ahead. I said I was going to do it, so and I've been thinking about it, so I'm going to do it. So this is for Trump, and this is different than I've ever done. So we've got all the money that was brought in and stolen and everything else. All the money spent to bury things, all the dark money. Then we've got him leaving town. Maybe even leaving the country. 
and taking Ivanka with them because she's going to she's going to get out of this too. So it looks like Trump and Ivanka might end up scooting out of this while the rest of them end up in lots of trouble. Although it, these cards don't show Jared in as much trouble as I thought they would, but Biden is going to be definitely checking everything on him. I think he will be eventually. And then if we go the other way across, we got Trump's between a rock and a hard spot. He doesn't have a choice. He always thought he had choices or thought he, he didn't even think he needed choices. He just thought he was in charge. But now he's thinking he has choices and he don't even have choices. And it's finally starting to dawn on him. And in the present, he's just being quiet and holding his ground. We know that. His heart is just totally broken. Totally broken. On some level, we got the Queen of Swords here. He knows that that, is it Letitia James? He knows that she's coming after his ass just the, the second that he's out of there. So that's what he's afraid of. And his heart's broken, but he's going to be afraid, going to be scared. I think if I did the same reading three weeks from now, this broken heart and afraid of her would come to terrified. Anyway, that worked better than I thought it would. I almost didn't want to try it because I thought, do you want to really try this and mess up this video? And I thought, nope, go ahead and try it. So anyway, I got to get going because uh, I've got a reading to do here pretty quick. And I think I'm going to come, if I'm not just totally exhausted after I read for this sweet lady, I'm going to uh, come back and do another one so I can put two of these up tonight. And if anybody wants a personal reading, it's Lynn readings at gmail.com and oh I forgot to thank everybody and I want to thank everybody for your comments and I want to I, I had some pretty nice comments when I was uh, on uh, Johnny's channel on uh, election night you know people just congratulate me for being on there I guess probably because I'm the whatever <laughs> I felt like I was out of my league and yet I shouldn't be. I've been doing this for 50 years. We all have our own way of doing it. But um, I want to thank everybody for watching. And remember, for a personal reading, email me at lynntarotreadings at gmail.com. And I'll get right back with you. And I've got openings. And I'm, boy, am, am I going to be more, whatever. I can feel my energies just change so much since it's election. And, and I'm really thanking God because on some level I must not have uh, realized that there was something to worry about for a while there because I was never worried for one second about Trump winning this election. I was upset because some of the Republicans won their seats. But uh, my daughter even called and said, are you doing all right? And I says, I'm doing great. You know, Trump's not going to win this election. And I was watching the same thing everybody else was watching. So maybe it was just my angels protecting me. Anyway, thank you all. Namaste. And uh, if you like this, please push the join button or uh, the subscribe button or a thumbs up. And good night, everybody, if I don't get back. But I'm going to try to get back. Night all.